action. <laughs> uh, right, good evening, you're, uh, what are you, 13, God, seven years, seems to have flown by, and you know, it's been your pleasure to have been in school for seven years, your pleasure to have known me for seven years, gosh, how did you survive? <laughs> but we've got, you know, we've got some characters, we've got this, this guy, I don't know what's his name, um, he's, he's, he's gone to some heights now, I mean, I don't know, he rides this little put-put bike thing like a, like a egg whisk or something, I don't know, yeah. and he really stays on it, I understand he drives into park vehicles all the time. And um, you've got others, others in, in, the, um, in, in your group who I'm surprised they've lasted seven years, to be honest, um, because their voices must have worn out five years ago. <laughs> Not that I noticed anybody, of course. Um, but anyway, I'm sure that this evening will be a, a, a remarkable success, and I wish you all the very, very best for the future years. Well, you're 13. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I'm missing you, missing you quite a bit. Um, sixth form just isn't the same without you. The last few weeks have been very quiet, very strange, in fact. I haven't had to go around chasing people, confiscating hoodies, confiscating rugby balls, phoning up pupils and asking them to get out of bed and get their butt into school to finish off some work or other. Um, so I thought my job was meant to be challenging and interesting, right? but to be honest, the last um, year has been challenging and interesting with you guys and I wouldn't have it any other way. That's why I came into teaching. Um, you're a lively bunch, but... To use the infamous words of Ross Morgan, I reckon you're all going to do fine. You're all going to be all right. Okay, I think you're going to make a big success of yourselves and I wish you all the very best. Um, good luck in everything you do and please stay in touch. Bye-bye. Well, you're 13. Um, maybe a sad time for you because you'll be leaving Kaiserland Pontypridd High School. Likewise for me as well. Um, but... I look forward to new challenges and I hope that you are looking forward to new challenges as well. You were such a big part of my career over the last seven years. I remember visiting you in your primary schools when I was your head of year, albeit for a short time. And also, as you know, I taught most of you as well for five, six years. Um, I've got to know you all individually. You're a fantastic group of students. And I know that you're going to go on to have fantastic careers. And I sincerely hope that all of you follow your dreams and all that you wish for comes true. Um, I look forward to new challenges in the next chapter of my life. And I have no doubt that there will be many moments where I'll be looking back and thinking of you all. And I would just like to take this opportunity to thank you so very much for giving me the fun, the laughter, the joy in my classroom um, and I know that some of you still come and have chats with me from time to time. Um, good luck and I wish you all the very best for the future. Let me win. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, I'd just like to say that um, this year 13 has been one of the best third year 13s I've ever come across. I thoroughly enjoyed teaching them, I thoroughly enjoyed being in their company and I wish them all the best for the future. Hi guys, uh, this is for year 13. We are going to miss you, we've had pleasure working with you over the, over the years, um, especially with certain people on, on the governing body. I don't have to name them, they know who they are. Uh, they represented uh, the sixth form absolutely fantastically. Uh, very, very professional. Uh, I hope you all uh, go along in your careers and have all the success uh, that you've actually drawn from, from the school here. Uh, you've all been absolutely fantastic students. Uh, we are going to miss you. I personally will miss you all. And I hope you come back to visit us sometime in the, in the future with a success story from your careers uh, that you are going to develop. Thank you very much and good luck to you all. Congratulations to you all for graduating from Ponty High. I hope you all have a great time at the ball. I can honestly say that your year group was the best GCSE class that I've ever taught. It contained some of the 
nicest pupils I've ever known, but also some of the funniest pupils I've ever taught. You definitely kept me entertained. I hope you all go on to achieve your dreams and have the fulfilling futures you deserve. Oh my God! <laughs> right. I think I've got to put that down. <laughs> right, tell me when you want me to start. Okay. Okay then, sixth form. I'm really, really sorry that you're leaving. It's been an absolute pleasure teaching you all the way through from year seven to year 13. And uh, make sure you pop in and see us again. <laughs> Bye. Hello, year 13. I'm sorry I can't be there for the ball. Um, have a fabulous night. Good luck in whatever you do. I am very jealous of all of you going off to university. I wish I could do it all again. Good luck and follow your dreams. Bye. Year 13. Um, sorry I can't be with you tonight. I just haven't got any money. My husband's used all our money because he's in Australia at the moment watching the Lions tour. So I hope they've won today. If they haven't, he'll be in a state at this precise moment. Have a wonderful time. Enjoy wherever it is you're going to go. I've always said reach for those stars. Um, love everyone again. Hi kids. Uh, James said he was going to come in and get a few messages off the staff. So uh, I thought, no, I'll, come on now, Pete, see if you can come up with something decent. Uh, don't just come up with some crappy joke. Try and say something inspirational. So I thought, at this sort of time in your life, you think about the future. And where will you be in the future? You may find yourself in a shotgun shack, or you may find yourself on the other side of the world, or you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile, or you may find yourself in a beautiful house with a beautiful wife or husband. Um, you may ask yourself, how did I get here? Or you may tell yourself, this is not my beautiful house, this is not my beautiful wife. And you may ask yourself, where is that large automobile? What have I done? But I think what you should be asking yourself is not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. Live long and prosper. Well, I'm glad I followed Mr D because he has lived long, but he certainly hasn't prospered. Uh, I would like to talk about uh, my class specifically, although the year group has been good. Uh, Courtney? 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 Right, okay, well Courtney, if you are here, just remember you're as big as you think you are. Uh, Dan, when I could get a word in edgeways and you sat and paid attention, you still didn't have a clue what I was going on about, did you? Let's face it. Uh, Chris, the quiet, would be intellectual. Certainly not the average Joe. Uh, Ryan? Oh, I bet he's not listening to this as I'm talking. Uh, probably talking about catastrophe theory to uh, Jack Welton. Uh, probably via the internet because Jack's not here at the moment. Um, Rhys, as previously discussed, Hector uh, took up catering just because he thought he could play chess on the trousers that he was wearing. Uh, Trudy, reliable Trudy. A star Trudy. Trudy, I felt very sorry for you this year. Well, for the last two years. With that bunch of boys in the class. Trudy, you deserve a medal. Thank you. Ross, well, there used to be a boy in the class called Ross. Um, I hope he actually made it here tonight, although he's probably off kickboxing somewhere or cage fighting his dad or something. Uh, Garin, the pinup boy, the glory boy, the only boy who can make a cardigan look as good as he can. Trendy and hip. I hope you pass it down to your brothers so when they get to sixth form we can take the mick out of them as well. Uh, that's about it really. Um, good luck to you all. Uh, but to finish off, can I just ask you all to be upstanding and raise a toast to the bridesmaid as she looks... Oh no, 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 no. Wrong, wrong one. Wrong speech. Sorry, sorry. That's in a few weeks time. Thanks everyone. Bye. Right, well, I'm very glad to have this opportunity to talk about my sixth form group. What did they have to put up with over the last two years? Unbelievable. 
They did it with a smile, at least to me. They did it with a lot of kindness and a lot of support. They put up with continual absence. It did, unfortunately, give Chris a chance to be even lazier than he was when I was in school. And if Dylan ate any more biscuits in class, you know, his teeth will fall out and he'd be in severe trouble. What else have we got? We've got Kieran, the man with the manic hairstyle. I don't think it's met a comb for at least seven years. You know, hidden under that thatch of hair is a boy with a lot of intelligence, a lot of writing ability, and hopefully, hopefully he's just woken up to that fact and will now start using it. We've got Reese, honest, hard-working Reese, who can write a sentence and twist it in four or five different directions at once. But then he'll take it away, work at it, be cheesed off for a short while, especially with me saying naughty words on his piece of work, like yuck. Take the word in good, in good, in good sense and come back with a decent piece of writing and an improved mark. This is why he's normally been picked as the best people in the group. Alex, not sure why I'm using Alex next to Reese or after Reese, but she can make some cakes. I was a person who never liked cakes until Alex makes me a cake, made me a cake at the end of the year, and what a fantastic cake that was. She has a talent somewhere. She's also got a talent in history as well, and she's all, all had an interest and a love with it. Um, spelling is something which could be improved though. Are we good, James? Hard-working James? Well, hard-working is the head boy. In class, reluctant, um, late. You know, can you please check this over again? Can I get a game? You know, but at the end, you know, an honest, decent, helpful, friendly lad. As they all are. You know, Emma came in late. Lovely girl. You know, one of the best writers in the class and should do really, really good. So as a group, you know, a round of applause for me. They thoroughly deserve, you know, hopefully decent grades because they put up with a lot for me in the two years and never once complained about it. Thank you very much. Year 13, it's been an absolute privilege to get to know you. Um, I will miss every single one of you, especially my literature class, and go out and make that world a better place to be because <laughs> you're amazing and I'm cheesy. <laughs> okay. Away. Goodbye, Year 13. In the words of Caroline Duffy, away and see the things that words give a name to. It's time for you to get out there and experience the world now. I wish you the best of luck with that and enjoy yourselves. I'm going to miss you, especially my uh, A-level literature class and i got to be honest, my phone class there was from year 7 to year 11 as well. Best of luck to you all. Hi, um, good luck year 13, been very nice teaching you this year, you are all fantastic and uh, good luck in the future, keep in touch. Right, good luck year 13, um, it's been an absolute pleasure knowing you, um, good luck especially to my A-level Anglic class and my form class, um, it'll be very quiet without you guys and there'll be, very, there'll be a lot less cake. Um, see you soon, bye. Goodbye year 13! <laughs> That's... <laughs>
know we've been. Holy flowers, fluffy and cabbages green. Strawberries are sweeter than any I've seen. Beetroot, purple, and onions white. All grows deadly day and night. The apples are ripe and the plums are red. Broad beans sleeping in a blankety day. Scary. <laughs> 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 right, show me your class now, mate. Okay, I'm 